Talks, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Symptoms, quality of life, important to guide treatment for peripheral artery disease. For the approximately 8.5 million people in the US living with peripheral artery disease or PAD, which is narrowed or clogged arteries in the legs, treatment decisions and criteria for success should be led by their symptoms and self-reported quality of life, according to a new American Heart Association scientific statement published in the journal Circulation. The statement, Advancing Peripheral Artery Disease, Quality of Care and Outcomes Through Patient Reported Health Status Assessment, highlights how managing PAD based on a person's experience of symptoms can lead to more patient-centered care and outcomes with a focus on high-value care compared to relying on clinical measures like the speed of blood flow to the legs or artery diameter. New research details the microbial origins of type 1 diabetes. Almost a decade ago, UO graduate student Jennifer Hampton Hill made a fortuitous find. A protein called beta cell expansion factor A or BEF-A made by gut bacteria that triggered insulin-producing cells to replicate. The protein was an important clue to the biological basis for type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune disease in which the pancreas can't make insulin. Alongside other colleagues, he has now uncovered new insights into what BEF-A does and why bacteria makes it. In their most recent paper, Hill and colleagues took a deeper look at BEF-A. They capture detailed images of BEF-A structure to identify the parts of it that interact with cell membranes. Then, through a series of experiments in zebrafish, mice and cultured cells, the researchers sketched a picture of BEF-A's function. Researchers develop a novel antibiotic cement to treat bone infections. A new study led by investigators from Brigham and Women's Hospital addresses this growing problem of antibiotic resistance in antibiotic development using a novel interdisciplinary approach to construct a robust computer program generated library of antibiotics and to identify an effective antibiotic for targeted use in a bone cement matrix. To engineer a new antibiotic for specific local delivery via bone cement matrix, polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA bone cement was used, the accepted FDA gold standard. The team shortlisted molecules for antibiotic design and screened for drug-susceptible and drug-resistant bacteria in a preclinical model. Finally, the team compared clinically used PMMA bone cement and the new antibiotic-loaded PMMA bone cement using a prophylactic and an established staphylococcal infected tibial injury model. Two out of five adults who use cigarettes smoke menthol. Because menthol produces a cooling effect that lessens the harshness of smoke, tobacco makers have been adding it to cigarettes for decades. It makes smoking more accessible, increasing the likelihood that young people who don't smoke may start smoking regularly and develop a nicotine addiction. An FDA ban on menthol would have a widespread public health impact as menthol use is much more common among adult smokers who are younger, from racial or ethnic minoritized groups and with mental health problems. To estimate trends in menthol use among adults who smoke cigarettes by socio-demographic mental health and substance use variables, the researchers analyzed nationally representative annual data from more than 1 lakh individuals aged 18 and older residing in the US from the 2008 to 2019 and 2020 from the National Survey on Drug Use and Health or NSDUH. Depression was assessed using the DSM-4 criteria for a major depressive episode. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.